Uh, we have uh, now two uh, investigators uh, reporting on the uh, uh, Stitch trial. First, uh, Dr. Eric Velasquez is the primary investigator for the Stitch trial and associate professor of medicine and director of both the uh, cardiac uh, diagnostic unit and the echocardiography laboratories at Duke University Medical Center in Durham. Uh, Eric. Thank you, Dr. King. Uh, we uh, presented the results of the STITCH trial uh, this morning. STITCH trial uh, uh, took 12, 1,212 patients at 99 centers around the world and randomized them to continuing medical therapy or medical therapy with cabbage in patients who had been previously excluded from all randomized therapies of cabbage, which uh, were patients with coronary disease uh, uh, as well as heart failure and left ventricular dysfunction. Uh, these patients uh, 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 were approximately uh, 60 years of age, 40% were diabetics, and, uh, and uh, the uh, median EF was 28%. When, uh, when we look at the end, uh, to, to cut to the chase and go to the, uh, to the outcomes, uh, we looked at three outcomes uh, uh, that were our primary outcomes. Uh, the first one was our primary outcome, which was all-cause mortality, and secondary important outcomes we presented included cardiovascular mortality as well as all-cause deaths plus cardiovascular hospitalization. Uh, for all-cause mortality, uh, in our intention to treat analysis, we showed an absolute risk reduction of 5% from 46% with medical therapy overall all-cause mortality down to 41%. This p-value was 0.123, so not statistically significant. After adjustment as pre-specified in the protocol for key baseline variables, the p-value was 0, uh, 0 0.039. When you look at the cardiovascular uh, death endpoint, uh, we took the, uh, the medical therapy arm had a mortality rate of 39% that we reduced to 32% with cabbage with an absolute risk reduction of 7%. That, p, uh, that hazard ratio was about 0 0.8, and the p-value was significant at 0 0.050. Uh, with, uh, without adjustment and uh, uh, point, uh, 012 after adjustment. And to take the, uh, the endpoint of all cause deaths or cardiovascular hospitalization, uh, we found a 10% absolute risk reduction from 68% uh, event rate at, five, uh, at, uh, at the end of follow up to 58%. Uh, and those, uh, that uh, the decrease with cabbage was significantly significant with and without adjustment. Uh, we did find an early hazard, uh, as expected, for the cabbage group, uh, which took about two years to abate. And um, that, those, are were, those were our results. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Velasquez. Uh, now, finally, Dr. Robert Bono is uh, primary investigator for the STITCH viability trial and professor of medicine director of the Center for Cardiovascular Innovation at Northwestern <laughs> University uh, Feinberg School of Medicine in Chicago. Uh, Bob, uh, tell us about the viability. Thank Good you, Dr. Bono. King. The, um, the background for this is that there's two reasons why a patient with coronary disease and left ventricular dysfunction has heart failure. Uh, one is there's been irreversible damage to the heart muscle from a previous heart attack. The other is that the muscle is viable but just under perfused. It's like a car engine that's uh, well tuned but has a clogged fuel line. Uh, and if you open the artery or restore blood flow with surgery, improve the blood supply, the heart function may improve. And this has been uh, shown in many studies that we can identify which patients have viable myocardium from a number of tests. And we looked at two in this study uh, that are commonly used and well validated, uh, nuclear perfusion imaging or dobutamine echo, which allows you to see whether there's contractile reserve in that underperfused uh, heart muscle. The previous studies which have looked at this have shown that not only does function improve, but other studies have shown that that improvement in function translates to, into improved survival. However, um, all those studies are retrospective. Uh, there could have been some selection biases as to which patients receive surgery or, or not. But the medical therapy was also uh, not uh, current medical, aggressive medical therapy. Um, and therefore, there's equipoise because other studies have shown that giving beta blockers and ACE inhibitors to viable myocardium also improves function. So there really was equipoise, which allowed us, in the context of the STITCH trial, to look at this for the first time prospectively. Does the viability test identify patients who will do better with cabbage versus surgery? And our outcomes uh, show that once you account for all of the other things we know about our patients, uh, age, uh, previous, heart, uh, previous heart attacks, 
and other clinical variables, such as kidney function and uh, uh, et cetera, uh, the viability information, although important, is, is not really significant. So this uh, in some way changes the paradigm about how we use uh, imaging to uh, identify patients for uh, coronary surgery, and, and perhaps we used to, we need instead to be looking at other readily available clinical markers.